All right, so we're ready to move on to the next phase, um, the next few steps. Uh, previously, we talked about um, dynamic attributes, um, or sorry, uh, block attributes and dynamic blocks, and also the stretch function. So um, originally, I had actually created this really long video explaining the rest of the functions, but I realized that's probably too long, so I'm gonna make a bunch of shorter videos so you can go through each function separately. Um, this is another video Another weekend, another day, another dollar in the continuation of my After Dark series. I've had a few drinks tonight. I'm feeling good. Um, and, you know, learning some more advanced things here, right? All right, so I've got a pre-made block. Um, I've made a section marker. If you've done any kind of uh, architectural type drafting in the past, you're familiar with section markers. Um, what I've got here is um, just some basic elements, circle, lines, polyline, uh, and a block attribute that we can use uh, to enter the text for the section marker like we did in the previous video with block attributes. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about uh, the move command, which is actually really simple. So this is gonna be a ridiculously short video. Actually, I take that back. I'm gonna do the move and the rotate because move is so uh, simple. I'm gonna go ahead and start by blocking this. I'm gonna call it section. Pick a point right in the center of the uh, circle. Select my objects. Hit OK. And it's going to ask me. Oh, I've done this previously. So I'm going to redefine this block. And it's going to ask me to enter the section letter. I'm going to just say A, which is fine. It doesn't matter. Um, once the block is created, I'm ready to turn it into a dynamic block. So I'm going to block edit. Hit OK. All right, now we're in the block editor. Um, so in the previous video, I talked about making parameters and then adding actions to them. What's nice is you can make parameter sets, which are like predefined parameters and actions combined. Super handy. Um, they make quick work of making a uh, parameter and an action together. Um, we did the linear stretch uh, in the last video. Now we're going to do um, a point move and linear move. Okay. These are kind of the same thing, really. <clears throat> um, except a point move is about moving something with a specified coordinate, whereas linear move is moving a specific dimension. <laughs> so we'll do a point move first, where you sp specify the parameter location, which is gonna be, I'd like to move it from this point, okay? And it puts the grip at the end, uh, or actually at the base point of wherever I selected that point. And then it's gonna ask me to select, uh, it gives me the action automatically, so it's gonna ask me to, to uh, pick all the actions, all, all the objects associated with this action. So I'm going to right click, new selection set, and select these objects. Because what I want to do is be able to move this out. Okay. And one handy function that I didn't go about in the last video is that rather than having to um, close the block out and see if it works, you can, you can hit this uh, icon over here called test block. When you hit test block, it opens up a new drawing. Um, that's called the test block window and of course my AutoCAD is now freezing up it does this from time to time so I'm gonna explain what you're gonna see uh, it's gonna take about maybe a minute honestly so it's gonna open up a window where I can test the block this window is not meant to, I mean this new drawing window is not meant to be saved or anything it's just for you to test the functionality of your block and see if everything works <coughs> correctly when you're done testing it just close out of it you don't save it or anything and you go right back to the block editor this way you don't have to go back and forth dynamic uh, plan dynamic blocks using that linear move but for this instance we're going to use uh, a point move so the thing about point move um, is that you can move it in any direction okay we're not be able, we're not able to move it just in one direction it doesn't lock it into the one direction it moves it in any direction okay um, and if you'll notice under custom what we've got here are the X and Y position of that uh, of that point of that grip because like I said the point is basically coordinate based rather than dimension based so 
I can uh, I can change this to five and then change the Y position to maybe two and it goes like up right if I change it back to zero it'll put it in line with this so we're just changing pretty much the coordinate relative to the block not the overall drawing coordinate okay um, this is not relative to the UCS this is relative to the insertion point of the block this, this is now five inches away from this grip so keep that in mind um, so we're gonna close this out <clears throat> that's point move okay now let's go over linear move linear move will lock down this uh, the move direct the move uh, parameter into one direction move action into one direction so what we've done is we picked the base point and we've picked an end point now this grip for this end point can be anywhere you want it to be it can be here it can be here but I like to associate my grips with the objects that they're moving so I'm gonna put the grip right on the corner there I'm gonna right click here on the action and do a new selection set and choose just these objects okay all right, so now what we're gonna do is test this block out now. And now my ortho is still off, okay? You can see that when I move this, it's, oh, actually, okay, I lied, I turned it back on. <laughs> All right, so I turned it off now, but you'll notice that when I go to move this, it can't move in an up and down direction. It can only move in a left and right. That's what linear, uh, what a linear parameter does. It locks something into one direction, so. Uh, I can move this section marker in and out, which is exactly the behavior that I want this because sometimes I'll have short sections uh, where I'm just sectioning through something small. Sometimes I want something a lot longer. So, um, and then through the properties window, you notice I only have one direction. It just controls the length, that, that length parameter. When you look back in this drawing, you see this, this distance parameter, okay? or this linear parameter it's a technically a linear parameter the title is distance um, this linear parameter that's what this is controlling this property when I select this and it says custom it's there's that there's that distance one and it's it's controlling that distance so there's distance one so um, that's your point move and your linear move um, Unlike stretch, move will just move objects, not stretching objects. If you had to like maybe stretch this line longer, you'd use the stretch parameter, but we don't need to do that. We just need to move this further away, so there's no need for a stretch parameter with a window. That's your move parameter in a nutshell. And look at that. It wasn't as short of a video as I thought. I actually managed to make this a lot longer. 